Let's get ready to Ruben's Tube! Right here, guys. Right here. All right. Hi, class. We've already all shown you this, and we're going to show you it again. This is the Ruben's Tube. We've already explained it. We didn't explain who made it. Uh, Hendrik Rubin made it, and Colin's gonna tell you when yeah, he lived. He made it in 1904. He uh, basically he figured out from other people's research, which most scientists do now, they steal other, other people's work. But he figured out that fire was affected by sound, and so he built this tube. And his original one was four meters long, and which is pretty big because yeah. this is only about two, almost two feet or two two meters. <laughs> yeah, two feet is kind of smaller than that. But and he had two hundred holes, and we have a lot less than that. Yeah. I don't feel like counting. I'm a little lazy on that one. I could though, because but we don't want We don't have that much time to do this. And ours is made out of just an aluminum pipe and some acrylic tubing mm -hmm. and some just brass, brass, t brass t joints. And then there's holes drilled on the side. You saw them the first time. And we have a propane tank over there, which you can't see it because we have to keep it distance from this. But it's going and... Um Start small propane. Yeah. Or, uh, better light it pretty soon. Yeah, we're I think we're gonna, ourselves. we're gonna light that it pretty bad. soon when we come no. back. See ya. Yeah, and that was called a uh, linear sweep because it ranges in frequencies back and forth all at once. You can see the way they interact with each other. That was from 400 to 700 hertz. And it just shows that the different frequencies change the shape of the fire along the Rubens tube as we were playing different frequencies. See it? This is a frequency of 500 hertz. It has a wavelength of 32 centimeters. And the wavelength is the point between the crest to crest. So the top of each mound, as you can say. Now, and the next frequency would be 550 hertz. Um, and that has a, frequent, or a, a wavelength of 29 centimeters. Now, using the equation, Velocity equals frequency times wavelength. We concluded experimentally that we had a speed of sound in propane of 160 meters per second. Which is a lot slower than the speed of sound in air, which is approximately 344, 344. meters per second. So next we're gonna bring in Ryan Otten, and he's got a tenor sax, and he's going to play us an F sharp. From this, we were able to conclude that the uh, From sine crest wave crest was 22.5 centimeters, mm -hmm. and which, when we plugged it into our equation earlier, with the meters per second of, or the speed of 160 meters per second of sound and propane, we calculated it to be about 711 hertz, which is pretty high up there. Next, he's going to play us a D. This gave us, uh, when we plugged into our equation, uh, 20, with 28 centimeters, we got 571 hertz, approximately, 
which was close to our 550 hertz of 29 when we got 29 centimeters. Let's finish this off with some music. Alrighty. What tunes are we gonna play, Colin? I have no clue.